Hello my dear students and friends. Welcome back to my session on PLC in 21 days. We are on day 9. In today's program, we will physically see the board, the, uh, the PLC board, 14MR board. Uh, openings, some uh, programs, we will be seeing the demonstration directly. Okay, I used uh, these parts, a push button. It is a potential free button. Okay, I'll show you the video here, the, the the image here. So this is the power supply, this is the board, this is the push button, this is the proximity sensor, NPN type proximity sensor. These are the six LEDs actually, there are six LEDs. To reduce the brightness, I pasted uh, the insulation tapes actually over it. Otherwise, it will be so bright. Okay. So, because of this brightness uh, that will uh, 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 distort the, the image here, right? So, I used a push button. Push button has uh, two ends, you see, one wire, second wire. One wire is connected with zero volt to the SMPS or to the board straight away. Straight away. The other one is connected with X0 input, X0 input. Then the next uh, input I used is, this is the NPN type inductive proximity sensor. It senses the metal, presence of metal actually. So the, now I will show you, there is a screwdriver. I am going, uh, let me, let it be somewhat clear. So now you see, I move closer. So now here the light is glowing, it is sensed. At the same time, here you see here, the input side, X1 is connected here, now you see here, bulb is glowing he here, as well as there, you see that, now remove, so, small bulb is LED is glowing here also, okay, so this is connected with, uh, this uh, proximity sensor is connected with X0, now, I already told you, uh, I will be using, whether I am using a relay type board or a transistor type board, it will be of NPN type, not the PNP type. If it is NP NPN type, uh, for all the sensors, it comes with three wire connections. And uh, the colors of those three wires are constant and unique. Br there are three wires, brown, blue and black. Brown is plus 12 volt or 24 volt blue to be connected with the ground or zero volt the black is the signal that is connected to x1 input okay so let me type uh, either uh, 12 volt or 24 volt okay so my plc board is also working on uh, 12 volt or 24 volt type okay again i repeat the npn sensor whether it is a npn type inductive proximity sensor or a, a, a photo sensor or flow sensor, any sensor, if it is a NPN type, uh, the three color wires are constant, brown, blue, black, brown is plus, because the sensor requires power in all, so brown is connected with plus positive, blue is connected with ground or zero, the black gives the signal, okay, it gives a, uh, connection or not connection signal actually then in the output side i connected the six leds actually so one two three four five six leds actually led has got two wires of course one is plus other one is minus okay all minus wires connected to ground or zero volt the plus wires the first led connected to y0 second y2 third second y1 third y2 and so on the wi-fi is the sixth one Okay, in the board, this is the this is the physical board. This is the diagrammatic representation. On the input side, I used only X0 and X1. The X2 to X1, I am not using. Okay, then all Ys I used. Y0 LED1, Y1 LED2, Y2 LED3, so on. Wi-Fi LED6. The C0, C1, C2, C3 are all connected with 12 volt or 24 volt. 12 volt of course because the LED working only on 12 volt type so I have to supply 24 volt not any other volt here 
this is very specific here in the npm and in the power supply you can use 12 volt or 24 volt but these led bulbs will always work under 12 volt okay so if you use 24 volt uh, it will go off right so be careful so we are on 9 day 9 okay now let me open a program straight away so today uh, this is an important day for me and even for you because we will be directly opening some programs and we will be testing we will be testing so this is the first program it is a simple program x0 is on that is input button x1 is the proximity sensor okay that is normally off it is normally closed contact so if this is on m0 is on again m0 m0 is latched so m0 is permanently on if m0 is on the physical output y0 is on so this is the logic how to uh, now this is permanently on now how to switch off it that is why i use the proximity sensor as the normally closed nc type of connection okay so here uh, i used uh, the x1 okay let me fuse it in my program so for that you see already already i connected the plc using this cable this cable okay i connected with the plc uh, this laptop now whether it has been connected properly or not transfer setup i think this is com10 only okay let me do the connection test it is successful suppose if it is other than 10 let it let i purposely set some other value go for connection test uh, it gives errors message okay so that that port is that port number that i inserted you know usb cable that i inserted with the laptop through uh, to the plc board it is assigned with com10 number so connection is successful that means i am ready to fuse the program let me fuse the program let me fuse the program execute the program is running close it now go to the screen go to the screen now let me press the button button is pressed LED is on how to disconnect it it is permanent because it is latch so I press X0 only once ok so it is since M0 is latched here it is permanently on Okay, how to disconnect now use this one go to now this is on if this is on then connection will be cut okay so this is one thing then in the same program this I call it program number one the program number two instead of this one let me delete instead of this one I am using uh, falling edge this is the symbol for falling edge if I suppose yeah falling pulse raising pulse and falling pulse okay before that first let us see raising pulse you cannot visual the visualize the raising pulse uh, anyway so x0 f4 so if you run the program absolutely there is no difference between this with the previous one previous one was normally open no up arrow symbol uh, absolutely there is no difference between this and that okay uh, i don't want to waste uh, your time actually okay let me delete this one again instead of normally open or rising pulse now i use falling edge or falling pulse x0 compile f4 compile okay the point here is 
Mm, let me say, yeah, luckily I have AutoCAD, right? Okay, good. Mm, Polyline. Now, suppose if you are pressing the X0 means, see initially, if it is a normally open, uh, this is 0 and this is 1, that is 0 means off, 1 means on. Okay, uh, if I press this one uh, x0 for example, the zero state will go to 1 and remains at 1 as long as you press the x0. Then if you release, it goes to 0. This is the logic. In that, this is this particular vertical line alone is called the rising pulse, rising edge and this particular down line is called vertically down line is called falling edge or falling pulse okay so x0 is uh, if you use normally open this is the signal the rising symbol means rising edge if you use this is the signal not this signal this is the signal though it is very in a microsecond you will get a signal okay then falling edge means this is the signal okay now you go back to the program now I am using the falling edge. Now I, you see the X0 I am pressing. So from 0, racing edge, it is on. I am holding, pressing and holding X0. Okay. So it is on. But until then, I am not getting falling pulse. Only if I, the moment I release the button, that time only I get the falling pulse. So it jumps from uh, going back to 1 to 0. So these are all square waves actually right so this can be visualized straight away here okay i use this particular thing now let me compile this one the meantime i will go for explanation okay let it run in the meantime we will see this file now this this is the second program of course or third maybe okay so i pressed nothing will happen the moment I release now, that time only the falling edge will occur. So falling edge uh, occurring means uh, the the signal the program will be triggered. Program will be triggered. So it is compiled. Falling edge is compiled. Now you go back to video. Now you see I am pressing and holding the. Uh, uh, somewhat I do not know whether now I pressed. Now I pressed the moment I release. Now I pressed actually. I just now I just release my hands. You see the falling edge, right? Again, let me show you. Now I am pressing and holding the switch now. Okay, using both my hands. Now the button is in pressing state, pressed state. Now let me release my both my hands. That means I am releasing the button. Okay, after at that moment, after that moment only, the LED will be glowing. You see that? So that is the beauty of this falling pulse. We go back. So now, using my two hands, I pressed. So raising edge done, and uh, it is continuously on. So you won't get a signal because I used falling pulse. The moment I release, you know, that time only it jump from 1 to 0. This is the falling pulse. At that time only you get a signal or a trigger here. Once you get a trigger here, then only M0 is on, M0 last, M0 permanently on, M0 is on, Y0 is on. You got it? Okay, let me get back using the reset button. Let me this one, switch off this one. So today you you knew about the raising pulse,
falling pulse sometimes they will say raising edge falling edge sometimes they say raising pulse falling pulse let us see let us see once again what is there in this one raising pulse falling pulse okay so i go back i reset to x0 f4 save let me open another file Mm. Timer blinking. Let me see what is there in the program. Yeah. Here also instead of X seven, let me put X one. F four. Now you see X zero is input. It is X one is to cut. If X zero is on, M zero is on. M zero is slashed. M zero is permanent. M zero start triggering the timer. So the timer one start trick. Start ticking. Uh, it is for thirty by ten. Three seconds. It will be on. Once, at, uh, once it it has reached zero to thirty, k thirty, then T one signal is triggered. T zero is triggered. Once the T zero is triggered, this will cut the M zero circuit. At the same time, the below this. I use the T one. So this circuit is started. This loop is started. So T zero is on. If T zero is on, yeah, in all places I have to replace uh, one. Okay, let me do it. Do that first. Okay. Okay, the, it is uh, so T zero is on. M one is on. M one is last. M one is permanent. M one is on. M one is on. it triggers the timer 1 timer 1 for k45 45 by 10 4.5 seconds it will be on when once the t1 reaches 45 this will switch off m1 circuit so m1 will be off at the same time here i use this c1 so means it will st again start the m0 circuit so alternatively yeah, it is a continuous loop now M zero is on for thirty seconds. After that, M zero is off. Thirty seconds, not thirty seconds, three seconds. M zero is on for three seconds. After that, M zero off. Then M one on. M one is on for four point five seconds. After that, M one is off. Then M zero is triggered. On for thirty. Okay. So like that, it is alternative. It is continuous. How to break it? It can be broken only by using the NC X one. Signal. Shall we fuse this program? Okay, we will see that. That means the Y zero whenever M zero is on, that portion alone Y zero is on. That means M zero is on. M zero is on for three seconds. But M one is for four point five seconds. That time this will not be on. Okay. So shall we see that? Okay. Now write the program. Okay, you have to configure. Yeah, COM seven. Double click. It should be COM ten. Connection test successful. Okay, write the program. So this is the uh, maybe the fourth access maybe. we go to the screen uh, the screenshot drag cam now let me press only once first on for 3 seconds off for 4.5 seconds on for 3 seconds off for 4 5 seconds and so on okay let me i cut the loop actually using x1 that's it okay so let me save this let me close this program there are many i'll i'll 
cop i'll give you these three files okay yesterday one inline comparison we have done it in that uh, we used a timer and uh, the and logic uh, greater than inline comparison we have done this program right so here uh, first 3 seconds y0 next 3 uh, seconds not next 3 seconds that is 0 to third second y0 is on second second to uh, at the end of second uh, uh, second till fifth second y1 is on from 4.5 second to 7.5 second y2 is on S 7th second 10th second y3 is on uh, again uh, we will will do this one uh, in a normal way after that we can change any value right so 125 then from 120 120 to 149 it will be there so it will be sequentially on okay so you can change any value okay so now let me save online transfer setup it is assigned that com15 it should be com10 you know com10 connection test successful fuse the program Uh, before that, how to get the x x one? X one is given already, right? Okay, so write the program. Here I used. Uh, I used a uh, rising edge. Okay, so go back. I pressed one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, going back to one. because it is loop okay let me cut i cut now we do some changes let us speed up okay so then uh, we will have better understanding so k1 just 0.5 second K five two, K ten, K ten to K fifteen, K fifteen to K twenty, K twenty to. K twenty five, K twenty five to K thirty, okay, okay thirty, okay. Uh, instead of one fifty, that is fifteen seconds. I just wanted this to be thirty one seconds, three point one seconds, thirty one. Because it here it ends at thirty, no? I put thirty one here. Then there is a delay of uh, just point uh, two seconds. That's it. Let me compile. Uh, let okay. Program is good. Now let me write this to PLC. So it is much faster now.
go back to this one now let me press once there is a delay in the video so now you see I pressed it will be sequential it will be sequential and it is endless loop ok let me close it now from this it is quite uh, clear for, for you now I believe so, uh, you can uh, easily do some changes in the ladder logic then and there you can see the uh, thing uh, so in that way again again and again I am telling you see PLC programming is much easier and uh, working on PLC uh, it will work uh, on any harsh environment even though there is there is any leakage current uh, it will work whereas in the case of uh, Arduino, Arduino is damn cheap, no doubt about it. It has got many uh, digital inputs and outputs and uh, analog inputs. Uh, 10 bit uh, ADC is there on 6, uh, 8 analog inputs. But uh, there is, if there is any leakage current, uh, it takes uh, the signal unwantedly. Okay, even though before, even before pressing the button, but uh, by shielding, you can. Uh, you can uh, avoid all those things okay so you can play with any value now it is sequential it, it can be erratic also okay it can be erratic also so in, in, in any fashion you can uh, you can do it let me increase much faster just uh, 0.2 seconds let me see whether it was working or not three four five six it's supposed to work otherwise you have to increase the delay seven 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, here I make it 13. write a program yeah it is working uh, there is a delay in my video ok I already pressed maybe a delay of uh, 5 seconds it takes more than 5 10 seconds yes I pressed it now you see it is sequentially working so the LED is on only for 0.2 seconds actually ok so it is sequential instead of sequential it can be any fashion also ok let me cut so using the proximity sensor I cut the circuit so here I don't want to save this file let me see let me see I let me close the program without saving close the project without saving let me open once again whether I get the old values or not let me check yeah k150 
the old values are there old values are there right so the presently this uh, uh, 1 to 2 3 to 4 5 to 6 6 to 7 8 to 9 9 to 10 that is uh, sorry 1 to 2 3 to 4 something like that right uh, now let me close this again now in this uh, PLC you can not only write a program you can read the program from PLC that is one beauty this is not at all possible in uh, Arduino actually you cannot retrieve a program from the Arduino board but you can always get the program from the board onto your system shall we see that now let me open a new project so but you have, you have to assign this these two configurations are very important okay because fx type fx1 and c if it is a different uh, if you press a wrong one uh, you cannot uh, load the program okay now it is there i opened a new file let me read from plc oh configure plc transfer setup connection test success now we are it is a new file we we, we are we, now we are trying to read the file from the board from the plc board we, we want to get the program from the board okay everything is configured uh, configuration is correct you click all the things okay com 10 plc fx or nc you click all those things execute now it started reading from the plc board so this kind of thing is not there in arduino or even any other uh, microcontrollers so after getting a program you can do some modifications so you installed a machine in a company you lost the data no problem that data can be retrieved from that board okay then you do some modifications according to the customer's need Now you see already inserted, program is inserted. But uh, it is not responding. Already inserted, you could, I think you could see in the background. Okay, close. Go to write mode. Now you see the program is there. The K12. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now you can save it now. So that is the beauty of this particular one. Uh, I hope uh, for today's session it is sufficient. So we have seen the physically, we have seen the board, we have fused the program. Okay. So that is the beauty of thing. Again I repeat the same phrases, what I said in those uh, 7, 8 days time in the PLC sessions PLC even now is the powerful system whether it is a any kind of automated machine if you take milk packet automation or uh, uh, masala packet uh, sachet packaging or biscuit packaging any packaging machine even bottling plant and uh, coca cola and uh, uh, the pepsi in all the places most of the even now they are predominantly using the PLCs segment wise okay so that way because uh, it will work on in any harsh environment will take uh, uh, big voltage ranges even there is a, a spike or a surge or a drop in uh, any voltages uh, it will work it will work somehow okay but that is not the case in other uh, microcontrollers whether it is uh, like a big microcontroller, atmel microcontroller or even the Arduino also. 
but Arduino is damn cheap. So this has some advantages on one, some aspects that has got some advantages in other aspects. Okay, but when it comes to automation, that China is uh, uh, has become a most powerful country in the world. It is because of the 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 industrialization, mechanization, automation. So for this, still the PLC is, is most preferred one actually. Again and again, I'm telling you, many people they say it is a world one. Okay, it is not. There is no question of old or new. What what is relevant, which is faster, which is reliable, the reliability and repeatability point of view, this is best. Okay, so with this, I'll wind up. I hope you already subscribe my channel. If not, please subscribe my channel. Inform this to other colleagues, friends, students. So then they'll also gain. Uh, the knowledge from the three different sessions not only this uh, Arduino uh, sorry PLC also the SolidWorks and Arduino okay thank you bye bye